Hello everyone, in this short video, I will be discussing about some of the new changes introduced in the Paris release of the mid server installation. Uh, looking into the release notes, you can see a new Windows installer has been introduced in the Paris release. Before going into the installation, you need to ensure that the connection prerequisites are addressed. There are primarily two main connection prerequisites that you need to address before the installation. The first thing is that you need to configure the mid server to allow access over port 443. 443 is the uh, HTTPS port and mid server should be able to connect to service now over this port. Uh, the second criteria is that we should have a mid user which is basically a service now user record which is having the mid server role and this specific uh, user access would be used to connect the mid server to service now. Once the two main uh, prerequisites are satisfied, we'll be able to proceed with the installation. Let's now proceed with the installation. I have set up a Windows server here where I would be installing the mid server. So before installing, I would like to verify that my connection prerequisites are satisfied. The first prerequisite is that port 443 should be open. In order to check that, I can use my command prompt here. I would be using the telnet tool to check if port 443 is open. What I would be doing is I would type here telnet and I need to enter the IP address or the URL for my service now personal dev instance. So this is my PDI instance. Copy the URL for this. So then I type it telnet my service now URL in 443 if the port is open and if I click enter for this you can see that it would open up a new window which shows that you, you was able to tell it towards this URL if you don't have a connection to port 443 it should show that specific message to you and then you should contact your network administrator to open up the firewall on port 443 a second prerequisite is that you should have a mid server user uh, I've already created a user with the ID mid.user and I've tagged the mid server role to it. So this is my mid user and I've also tagged the mid server uh, role to this user. Now let's proceed towards the installation. Uh, you can download the installer under the mid server application from the downloads menu. You could get Linux as well as Windows versions here. 64 bit is generally suggested for your Windows server. I have already downloaded my installer here, which I would be installing now. Until Orlando, we used to download a zip file from the ServiceNow instance, which contains all the mid server contents. The content was extracted to a specific folder where you want to install the mid server, and then you have to click on the installer.pad to install it. Starting with Paris, you don't need to do these steps. Instead, you have a native installer here. Just double click on the installer and it would open a Windows native installer with its native UI. Uh, I click next for the first page here. Then I need to accept with the terms and conditions like a normal Windows installer. I need to check this. Go to the next step. This window is similar to the previous version. Here you need to enter the service now instance URL mid server username and password and you can also test your connectivity here so let me copy my url need to select the complete url enter my url here then i need to enter the user name for my mid server username and also the password if you are using a proxy you can also use these settings to set up your proxy server username and password here you can also test your connectivity to ensure that the mid server user can authenticate to the instance so you can see i have a connection tested successfully once you have tested your connection you can go and click to the next button in this window you could see a couple of new fields which were introduced in paris let's see them one by one the first one is the mid server name let me give a name to this mid server mid server Paris 01. The next two fields are new ones which are introduced in Paris. You have the service account name, 
the service account password until Orlando ServiceNow used the local Windows account of the host machine to authenticate and access the med server from Paris you have an option to select the Windows account that should be used for authentication during the installation phase itself so uh, I can create a new service account for the med server to be accessed so let me create a new account for this so in order to create a new account I need to navigate to my AD directory I'll go to my server manager here under the tools I have option for accessing active directory users and computers I'll be creating a new Windows service account for my med server I'll go to the users folder or right click it create a new user need to input uh, the user details here I would name it as med server service account I also need to give a username for this so let this be svc underscore med server this would be my service account login name and I click next I need to provide a password for this so I am entering a password since this is a service account and it would be used by service now to authentication uh, I would uncheck the first uh, checkbox which means user must change the password I would also check the password never expires checkbox so this password is always active then I would click next then I would finish this you can see a new mid server service account has been added to my active directory here now I need to tag this user as a service account for this I need to go to my server manager go to the tools select the local security policy within the local security policy I need to navigate to my local policies go to user rights assignments I need to select the option called as logon as a service and I need to add my service account name to this list so in order to add that name I'll click on add user or group I need to enter the user ID for it which is spc underscore mid server and this I click on ok and this adds my mid server service account to this list and once I click on apply it becomes a service account once the service account is created you can come back to your installer you can enter the name for your uh, service account user ID you need to enter the password so I'm entering my password here you can also set a mid server service name manually if required by checking this checkbox uh, this name is specifically derived from the mid server name and will be used for your mid server service name right now I would keep it as such you also have this option in the Orlando version the next thing that you need to do is validate your mid server service account by clicking this so let's click this you can see that it has given as an error message it's an invalid service account one thing that you need to make sure while entering a service account is to pass the domain name to it so I have created a domain called as AD server to it and I need to append my domain name with my service account name so that the validation passes so let's validate it again you can see that the service account has been validated now and I can click on next to continue so I click on next here I need to select my installation directory for my mid server so I would create a new folder I would name it as uh, mid server Paris 01 and select this folder for my installation I would then click on next this window contains all the information that you have input uh, for your installation you can see this your service now instance details here you can see the mid server service account details here you can also see a checkbox which is used to auto start the mid server 90% of the cases this checkbox would function and auto start your mid server there are cases where it fails due to access issues on the server and I used to generally prefer starting the mid server via the command prompt run as admin option 
so right now I'm not going to check this option I click next once I click install it will copy all of the mid server content to my installation directory create the config.xml file with the instance details and also a windows system service for my mid server with the service account details let's wait until the installation is complete once the installation is complete you can click on finish you can navigate to your the folder of installation so it's within this folder you can see the agent folder in which you have all the details of your mid server inside the config.xml you have details of your instance you can start your mid server service using the start.pat file uh, instead of using this file i prefer starting my mid server service using the command prompt so i would navigate to my command prompt open as, as an administrator by right clicking and clicking on the run as administrator the windows command the prompt has opened i would now navigate to my agent folder so i would change directory to agent and i would be entering start.pat which would start my windows service so you can see that uh, it's currently starting the uh, mid server service and the service has been started if you go to your system services application you would be able to see this mid server service is currently in running status so go to your system services under the services search for your service now mid server you can see a service now mid server service which is currently in running status so you can see this is the same name which we found for the service now service name file installation now if you come back to your service now instance and go to your mid server list uh, you should be able to see a mid server created for the specific service so if i go to my mid server you can see i have a mid server created the name of the mid server same as what we provided during our installation you can see the host name as windows dos server.com you can see the ip address for this you can also see the logged in user is mid.user if you navigate further down you can see all the configuration parameters that were provided during the installation including the instance url the user name the mid server name and also the password the next step was validating the mid server for this we need to click the validate link under the later link click on validate you can see that the validator status has gone to validating you also need to select a few options about allowing mid server to access all the applications allowing mid server to access all the capabilities allowing mid server to connect through all the ip ranges you can click on save this is the mid server configuration and these values get added under the respective types of your mid server if you scroll down you can see under supported applications the value are getting saved you can see that the mid server is currently getting validated it would take few minutes to complete the validation process coming back to your uh, mid server service under the services if i open the service and go to the logon tab until orlando the logon tab defaulted to the local system account and from Paris, you have the ability to set this to a different service account during the installation phase. You should be familiar with this tab if you have worked in this company. So this is one of the changes that has been introduced in the Paris release. Before ending this video, I'd like to discuss about another related feature that has been introduced in Paris. Coming back to my instance, you could see the mid server is up and it's also validated. I would be navigating to the credentials list within the credentials you could see a new out of the box credential that has been added as part of Paris release which is the windows mid server service account credential you could use this credential to validate your mid server access so let me let's try to test this this is something which is added out of the box so when I test this I need to provide my target device IP address so this I have input my mid server IP address. I'd be connecting on port 135, which is the WMI port. And I have selected my mid server as the one which I have installed. And if I click on OK, you can see that it's currently running a credential test. 
and you can see my credential has been validated against the service account well that's it do like and subscribe and provide your feedback in the comments thank you